Hi there, my name is Carlos and I'm a qualified CPA working with outsourced tax and accounting firm Fusion CPA. In the coming weeks, I will be doing a series of videos designed to enhance your knowledge in NetSuite. I plan to delve into some of the most common questions our firm is faced with, and I hope to boost your confidence by showing you everything from creating custom reports, safe searches, managing dashboards, and more. Stay tuned. Even though you can create budget reports using custom segments in NetSuite, unfortunately, you can't create budget versus actual reports that include those custom segments. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can essentially connect Excel with NetSuite and have those budget versus actual reports using custom segments available in your Excel. Those are basically the different types of information and tables that I'm using in these reports. The actuals, to recap the actuals, using web query, would allow Excel to pull that actual transaction data. For this video, I downloaded the budget and the chart of account, custom segment, and departments. But if you need to constantly update that information for your workflow, then it will be good to look into SuiteQL and maybe also save search searches for chart of accounts and, and custom segment and department. You can have NetSuite email you those uh, tables in a CSV, and you can have middle, middlewares as Power Automate or Integrator IO uh, to look into that email, fetch those CSV, and basically connect them to, to this Excel. Okay. After I created these tables, the budget, chart of accounts, custom segments, and departments, and I created these queries, like I show you by hitting this uh, right here from table range. I will do it again just to complete the workflow. Once you see everything okay here, you don't need to make, make any changes. In this case, I'm good because these numbers I, are being read as numbers. And Everything else looks good here. I go here, I click close and load to, and you can also see this process in my previous video. You will see this screen right here, import data. You need to choose this option right here, only create connection. And this is really important right here. Do you need to add this to the data model? And you have, you will have the option available if you download the Power Pivot add-on in your Excel. I will click Cancel because I already created this connection with my other budget table. And once you do that for custom segment, department, and chart of accounts, and any other dimension that you have, and also actuals, then you go to Power Pivot, click on Manage, you go here to this diagram view to create your data model. Right here in the middle, I have my dim dimensions, chart of accounts, departments, council segments. And these are connected to the budget and actuals tables. I sometimes prefer to have these appended or you know have them as a single table but for pur purposes of this video I'm ha I have them separate so you can see uh you know the power of uh having dimensions connected to your fact tables what you're seeing here essentially will allow you to do what you can't do here, when you try to create a budget versus actual report in NetSuite, if you go to reports and go to banking and click on budget versus actual report customize, you will arrive to the financial report builder for budget versus actual reports. And on this section right here, budget, budget and financial, you will see that you don't have 
custom segments available. You only have your native segments here to work with. This model, data model right here, allows you to connect those two separate tables and perform different types of analysis. I have my departments here. These are columns. My department's column connected to my department column in the, my budget table, same thing for actuals. And I also have my account in chart of accounts connected to my account in the budget table. So one to many relationship. Sir, I created my data model. I went to this separate tab and I created a simple pivot table right here using essentially my dimensions table for accounts. I didn't use my accounts from the budget table. I didn't use this accounts right here. I used the accounts from my chart of accounts. Okay. Same thing for departments and custom segments. I use the custom segment table, my dimension, and I use my department. And that is what you can see on these rows right here. As for values, I did use the budget value or amount, and that is what you can see on this column right here. Right now, if I try to add actuals, they will be empty because I, don't, I haven't posted any transactions to NetSuite. Go in here, click save. So now, if I refresh this, I'm supposed to see the actuals column populated here. Okay, so you can see the actuals column is being populated with the actual information that I posted on the journal entry. And the good thing about pivot tables and power pivot and DAX formulas is that you can create different types of analysis. Before I created the journal entry, I created a simple measure uh, to see the discrepancy between budget versus actuals. And I call it the delta. Is this one right here. And right now we can see that that column is showing us that for the segment one, department one, we are 200. There's a negative 200 Delta for office supplies. We spend $200 more, but in rent, we have a positive 200. Same thing for service income right here. So uh, total net 200 positive Delta for uh, segment one, department one. But you can see here that uh, segment two is not performing so well. Yeah, here we have it. We, we can see this pivot table that is essentially connected to, to NetSuite. Uh, you can hit refresh all if you know, someone else posted a transaction later, then you will need to hit refresh and you will see the actuals being populated here. As I mentioned at the beginning, budget was only downloaded because I'm not expecting for purposes of this video, I'm not expecting the budget information to change throughout the year. Same thing for the segment and department, but again, you can use it with QL and save searches for some of these tables to have them automatically updated in your Excel. That way you can have a live budget versus actual report in NetSuite that includes sec custom segments, department, and any other custom segment or native segment 
that you want to analyze on. And you can use slicers to filter your data, see segment one or see only segment two. Same thing for department. That's the part of the flexibility that Excel uh, can offer you, for you. In my next video, I'm going to create a more, slightly more complicated budget versus actual report with different types of analysis. I will add a date dimension table so we can see how we can perform time intelligence uh, analysis and other types of analysis with and dashboards with, with Excel using the budget versus actual report, including custom segments. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has enhanced your knowledge on the topic. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. You can also find loads of other accounting software tips at our website at www.futuretaxes.com.